I'm not sure what that is over there, but it looks nice and I think I want to go there. But I'm not sure if we have to pay to go in or to use the facilities. And I've never been here before. So I don't want to venture out too far by myself and I know that they don't speak English here. guys we are in Puerto Plata Dominican Republic today it's my first time here and I'm very excited of course I need to go get a souvenir look at that little <laughs> right there going behind me anyway yeah of course I'm gonna get a souvenir I also need to get some Wi-Fi to upload a video to keep up with my schedule and uh, I have a bit of an update to let you guys know but we'll talk about it when I get back in for now let's do some sightseeing close by the ship because I don't want to be left behind <laughs> so we are also docked next to the Norwegian Dawn that's right there and this is us here this is the back of our ship actually so we're reverse docked <laughs> oh by the way if uh welcome back to my channel if you are new here then welcome 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 my name is mariana aka mary b and i am so happy to meet you Um, of course, you just have to buy drinks. There's a swim up bar and all of that. So I'm really considering going in there, but probably after. I want to go out of the port area first and uh, um, see what it's like outside in the actual city. And then if I have time, then I'll come back and go into the pool area here. Or as I said, also need to find Wi Fi there. They have signs all over saying that, that they have a second phase of this port area coming soon. So I'm assuming that it's probably gonna be like, I mean, this honestly, like this entire port area is epic in my opinion. So I feel like it's just gonna be even better when they have a second phase because they are extending. So yeah, that's exciting. Y'all, every store has music playing, even by the week, every bar has music playing by it. And y'all know I am not about that copyright life. So it'll all be muted, okay? <laughs> y'all will get copyright free music. <laughs> Puerto 
It's just basically we're Why walking are you around. Driving? <laughs> Why are you <laughs> so we're walking around just hey. so that I can see what it's like to be a local here. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful! Oh, wow! Umbrella, the antes I umbrella. You guys, look how beautiful this is behind me. And look at this gorgeous statue. Oh wow, I am so fascinated. It's so gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna take a photo from this angle. Y'all, seriously, look at this above me. Look at how gorgeous it looks. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is super amazing. I'm really happy that I came here. And what's your name? Family day, Polanco. Polanco. Polanco, this is my family day. And now this is where we're headed to this is Catholic Church. Catholic Church. And Central Park. And it's also Central Park. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So you guys, this is the Catholic Church. And this area here is Central Park. It's so beautiful here, it reminds me of home. Like living here? Yeah, yeah, this is my home. I like my province for Dominican Republic. Okay. I'm back on board, you guys. It was so beautiful outside. I love it. Absolutely love it there. And I'm glad that I got to see what the local what local life looks like there. But at least just a hint of it, you know, because you never know really unless you actually like live it. But yeah, I am back on the ship. I'm gonna have lunch now because I am starving. And then when I come back, uh, I will update you guys on what's going on. Oh, and by the way, I had no luck with Wi-Fi. No Wi-Fi. So no video will be posted tomorrow.
hey guys so it is much later now in the evening y'all know i'm allergic to the sun i always say this because literally every single time i go out in the sun i get a headache as long as it's more than 15 minutes i get a headache i came back in i had a terrible headache and i ended up just taking a pill and going to sleep so after i got back from eating so it's well in the night time now we've already sailed away hours ago so i just wanted to give you guys a quick update as to what's going on so first of all if you see my background looking different i've changed cabins i'm on one deck i was on deck seven before i'm one deck higher i'm on deck eight now and everything is basically the same as my previous cabin except for this piece of artwork on the wall here and the color scheme which was white grays and the really rich eggplant color now instead of the eggplant color it's just now a, a teal as you guys can see on the pillow there behind me it's just this gorgeous teal color and uh, everything is basically like reversed so what was on this side of the cabin is now on this side of the cabin and vice versa but yeah basically almost the same cabin and i of course walked with my kettle i asked my cabin so can i take my my kettle please and he was like yes so um that's that i'm just having some peppermint tea before i go to have something uh, to eat at the late night snack because i absolutely miss dinner i got this souvenir today gorgeous little tea cup on this side it says dominican republic i love the um effect the glaze that they have on the glass i love it it's so cute and it comes with this little spoon at the side there it's not a really large cup it's a small one because y'all they didn't have when i was looking for a souvenir cup in these gorgeous handcrafted ones they didn't have like a regular size teacup if that makes sense they only had this size a shot glass and a really large one and I did not want a really large one because I mean I don't have much space for it at home <laughs> so it's also not really functional not very functional I don't I have really large teacups at home and I hardly ever use them so I wanted to get one that was a little bit more practical which this one I mean it's a little bit small but I'll quicker use this one than I'll use the really large one so when i came on here right i came on i signed on to sing with the jazz with the jazz quartet so we would have done like jazz and little pop stuff here and there but jazzing up the pop stuff right but then yesterday the singer for the party band ended up going into quarantine and so they asked me to now sing with the party band instead of the jazz quartet because if the jazz quartet did not have a singer they can still just play instrumentals because you know it's jazz you know uh, but the party band if they don't have a singer they can't work so um they moved me over and yesterday i ended up performing with the party band uh, um the party band is a bunch of uh, jamaican guys and the quartet is a bunch of colombian guys so um it was so great you guys performing with the party band i'm not gonna lie it was great performing on um, with both bands but then we got to do like caribbean stuff and all of that um with the party band obviously because they're uh, from the caribbean as well it was you know we could have done more caribbean stuff and all of that so that was fun a bit different from what i originally had planned to do here um but it's good that i am um, i'm a very versatile singer luckily so i am able to move around from different styles of music i can really fit in anyway but um anyway you guys so then after that after that performance last night oh and by the way they also asked me to stay on longer 
they asked me to stay on an extra week to perform with the party band because their singer was in quarantine right but um, by the way i also forgot to mention or oh, I, I feel like i'm just having this from all over the place but um the reason that i signed on here initially was because the quartet's singer was in quarantine so i was just to hold on for her until she came out of quarantine and then i would have gone home right and then they asked me to extend to um, stay on with the with the party band to perform with the party band because their singer went into quarantine so last night it turns out that both singers came out of quarantine so the musical director <laughs> sent me on whatsapp and said enjoy a free cruise <laughs> so I'm here sorry my camera just cut off so as I was saying I don't have to work I'm not quite sure when I'll be going home yet but I'm assuming that I won't be extending the extra week. So I'll probably be going home the day after tomorrow as because I already had my flights when I came here. I already had my flights for the for um, the 7th of January when I was leaving. But they have me on board until the 8th and they had asked me to extend until the 15th. Now I said I couldn't stay longer than the 15th because I have another contract coming up and it's so uh, um, I needed to be able to prepare for it so I couldn't stay longer than that extra week so I think I'll be going home on the 7th or the 8th because they have me on board until the 8th so I'm not sure if they'll change my flights or if I'll still be leaving um, in the Bahamas um, on the 7th so I'm just waiting to find out when exactly I'll I'll be leaving but I'm definitely gonna start packing from tomorrow tomorrow we're at sea so I'm gonna just pack everything tomorrow luckily I didn't walk with much so well because I knew I was only gonna be here for a short time so yeah I will pack tomorrow and that's that so yeah I'm glad everybody is healthy though that, that that's really good because everything is working out well so i am excited i'm happy about that anyway you guys i'm gonna end this vlog here just wanted to update you guys on what's going on thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate you be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you guys have any questions leave them in the comment section down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel click that notification bell so that you don't miss another upload from me and i will see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.